Well, it's time for a brand new Delightful Dimensionals cutting die. Now, as you know, we have the basic crosshatch, but the brand new one is Butterflies and Hearts. There are 12 cutting dies, and you can see them right here. And let me just show you what they look like when they're all made up. So here's the card flat, but then you just pop it, and it stands up. Isn't that gorgeous? So please, come play with us. Well, before we get started with the butterflies and hearts, let me show you how to do the basic crosshatch. Now, you're going to get the uh, four cutting dies. And by the way, the instructions are right here on the back of the package. It's super, super easy. You're going to cut one of that big arch, and you're going to cut one of this piece, and one of this, and then you're gonna cut three, these three, of this one, and let me show you how they go together. And there's no glue required, you just, the slots that are in it are, is what holds it together. So, we're going to hold this piece, and we're gonna start with the three smallest. And they simply insert like so. And you just wanna make sure that this is flat. So all three, and we're going um, to the back of this. These have multiple slots, so it's the one that's toward the back because we're going to add some things in front. So they're gonna be like that. Now we're going to take the tallest. There are two of them, and this is the tallest one. And we're going to insert that one next. And same idea, into right in there, and two. And sometimes you need to wiggle them a little bit just to get them into the slots. And sometimes you need to wiggle them a little bit more. <laughs> okay, there we go. And here is the third one, just like that. Now, you can see it's already starting to stand up. This is the smaller one, and it goes in front. And same exact way. So all of these come together exact same process and what is so fun well what's so fun is decorating them but as you can see this is going to go like this when it's flat to male and then it's going to just pop up to stand up and this will all fit into our regular uh, envelope so no need to go anywhere else we don't leave you hanging now let's talk about the butterflies so you can see they're right there. And because this is hot off the press, there was always an idea on the back and instructions. But let me show you that again. So what Debbie has done is she has used the new Flower Queen collection. And this is in the solid Flower Queen, but behind it is iridescent paper. So pretty. And you can see, now there are lots of hearts in this. There's uh, three solid, and then there's, uh, well, actually there's more solid, and you can see the smaller ones will fit onto the flourishes, so we've got them going both ways. So you can see what's going on there, very, very striking. Then the back of the um, uh, base piece is where you can write your message and so forth, so that will work very nicely. In fact, I can show you this. So this will go flat to mail, and then you can write your message right there. So that's, that's the process. <clears throat> Let's see what else that um, Debbie has done for us. So here is the next one. Let me pop it up. And this time you can see that she's gone more Valentine Day. Those hearts really pop. And this is using, let me show you. Um, this is using the poppies, six by six, as well as the poppies. Uh, solid cardstock. Now, she also has got some sparkly things going on. So let's get in closer to see that. And the big butterfly, now this is without the backing, and a smaller one on top of it. You see all that glitter? Well, that is magic, and it's so easy to do. So we have clear glitter sheets in two ways. You can get them in the A4 size, and you can get them in the four by nine size. Both of them are listed down below. And the way that this works is that the acetate is embedded with glitter. So there's no mess. You just place this over your solid cardstock. And remember, 
The cardstock is right here to match. And then die cut it. Super, super easy. And doesn't that look nice? Now, you're looking at those shiny bits. Well, that was done with the rose gold Miri. And don't they, the, the colors work beautifully. And um, so they have been attached, simply glue them in place. The, um, and I like the green with the heart, so that gives you more colors. And the butterfly down here was done out of the six by six poppies. Now this um, little label there, was done following the cutouts that are part of the Poppies collection. So you can just use that as a pattern and cut it out. And what um, Debbie did is that she used our dazzles. Now this is the We're Together pastel and pearl. And they come in long pieces and they also come stacked like this. So We're Together works so well. So this is our offering for Valentine's Day, which is just perfect. I love that solid butterfly. And you can also have the one on the side, as you can see. Okay, let's see what else Debbie has done. And here we have the next one. And this is it. I'm going to open it up just like that. And isn't that pretty? Very dramatic. That butterfly is just really smashing. Now, this is out of Fairy Garden, six by six. Fairy Garden, solid cardstock, as you would imagine, you see all the colors, as well as Fairy Garden die cuts. So what she has done is to cut the base piece as well as all of these out of the Fairy Garden. And I love how the flowers are at the bottom. Then she used the solid for the butterfly, one of the flourishes, and then the pattern for this one. Then these are the die cuts, so that works nicely. So may all your wishes come true. Happy birthday works really nicely. And again, you can just write on the back of it. That will work beautifully. Now, it's you've seen lots of ways that you can make these um, simple, <clears throat> or you can add lots more of the cutting dies, but you can also use them on a flat card. And here's what Debbie's done. So she is using the, um, Frosted Flowers, that was brand new uh, last month. And uh, it's the 12 by 12 patterned and the 12 by 12 solid. And you can see that on the front of her card. So that's what all of this. Then she die cut these flourishes multiple times out of multiple colors to place them there and two of them right here. So that worked nicely. The butterfly has vellum behind it. Now, you may not be able to tell there on camera, but she used the dotted vellum. There is the item number for it uh, in the description. We also have vellum in plain color, so there's no printing on it. So you can go any way you like. Now, she did this one. You can see it's right here. And she decided to do a little bit of shading. So she used the Prussian blue and of course, the smaller of the blender brushes, and then just did the edges just to give that a little bit of definition. And then she foam taped it on top. My sincere thanks, that's with the Frosted Flowers die cuts. I'm gonna pop open this card, and on the inside, more of those flourishes. The thankful for you is part of the patterned cardstock and just one piece that's been matted on the solid. So that worked beautifully. So certainly the butterfly is our, our smashing big hit, but there's just so many things in here and lots of ways to use them. So you do need the basic cross stitch card to, uh, dies to get started, but then this month, the butterfly and hearts has been added. Now, if you'd like to, we do just conveniently have a subscription offer. So this is um, on the right side of your screen. You can sign up every month. Well, the first month you will get both of them. The second month and subscriptions <laughs> and, and future months, you will just get the um, 
a uh, specialty one, so that will work. You also get 10% off and you will get a free goodie. This time it is a sheet or a pack of the um, clear glitter acetate, so that works well. Speaking of which, there's also a money saver. It's on the right side of the screen. Might as well save a little money for you too. Now, the list of materials is down below. Um, just click on the card, you'll see the listing of what was used. And um, I wanna thank Debbie for doing a great job on these delightful dimensionals for this month. And um, if you're watching us on YouTube, we hope you will like us. We hope you'll comment, tell me what you think. I think these are great, um, a very fun card, very distinctive and easy to do. So not bad, plus it has multiple uses as you saw. Comment and then uh, hop on over to paperwishes.com. Take advantage of that money saver. Look at all the materials we have and the different looks you can get with the different paper packs. Again, I wanna thank Debbie and most of all, I wanna thank you for being part of our Paper Wishes family. Bye-bye.